welcome to Perth Watch, your horology channel broadcasting from right here in Perth, Western Australia. Today, I want to do a head-to-head -head comparison. Uh, I have here in hand uh, the Christopher Ward Trident Elite C60 1000, which I reviewed uh, a little while ago. And since I got this, and this is courtesy of a local supporter, Sung, who made this available, I wanted to do a head to head with an appropriate watch. And I, I thought about a few divers in my collection, but in the end, I settled to compare it with this, which is my Steinhardt Ocean One GMT 500 Premium. And there are a few reasons why I chose this is because they are actually very similar similar companies it turns out it's very similar in age right 2011 establishment is Satine Hut and Christopher Ward is established in 2004 so nearly the same time they're both relative newcomers in the world of horology the horology industry but they're, they're you know, fairly established with similar range uh, of a watch collection so I thought this is actually quite appropriate being also a full-blooded titanium diver so you know I, I hope this will be interesting let's flip the camera around now and go to the table for the head-to-head -head comparison okay guys so here we have the watches on the table with my you know scoring system in the middle here as I usually do uh, so just to round out the watches a little bit and, and uh, introduce them. Uh, so on the left corner, we have, of course, the Christopher Ward Trident C60 Elite 1000, something I reviewed uh, not so long ago, and a full review uh, and links uh, in the show notes if you wish to check out that uh, if you haven't uh, already. Uh, on the right corner, uh, of course, we have the Steinhardt Ocean One GMT 500 Premium. Uh, you know, it may be a different order in terms of the wording, but essentially that is the, the model name of this particular watch. Something I reviewed quite a long time ago. I think this was the first review on YouTube. Uh, so I have a little bit of a distinction uh, in having that one. Okay, so uh, in terms of what similarities they have, of course, they are both dive style watches. In fact, they are not just dive style, they are both full-blooded dive watches with titanium construction uh, really quite good quality movements they're both swiss made and they both have fantastic loom you know they really both shine through the night whenever you charge the loom to full at the beginning of the night uh, cases are both again at 42 millimeters and, and unidirectional dive style bezels of course but one is much cheaper so in terms of uh, msrp uh, the Trident, so the current version is actually uh, 1680 USD because uh, substantially cheaper if you get uh, the band, you know, the rubber band or rubber strap. Uh, but you know, I'm comparing bracelet with bracelet, so 1680 is the price versus the Steinhardt, which is you know, really a, a great bargain at 705 USD. Roughly, that is what you can still get this particular watch for so you know both are kind of darling companies you know darlings among the new companies in the horology industry meaning companies less than 20 years old in i guess in this kind of comparison which one of these will come up on top so let's just get into the comparison here all right caliber so first up now the christopher ward all right you, you see the word on the dial here right it's a chronometer so it's got a chronometer certification is an SW200 movement, however, uh, versus the ETA 2893-2 in the Steinhardt, which is, uh, you know, an excellent movement. This one is Ellibori grade, so it's not the cost grade, it's not a top grade, but it's really, you know, very well done and certainly also very well regulated. The regulation in the Steinhardt might as well be a cost for, you know, for all I know. In terms of accuracy this is running about plus one a day this is running about plus one or two seconds a day it is really still one of my best watches uh, all things being equal the 2893 or 2892 series is certainly considered better than the standard 2824 in fact this isn't even an ETA this is a Solita so I'm gonna in this case despite the fact that there's a cost give the mark to the Steinhardt so eight versus nine uh, I, I i can understand if you want to give them the same mark but I, I think you know because of those other features along with the fact that that's a gmt movement or it, it's got the four hands uh, i'm going to give the mark to the steinhardt today okay next up 
case and bezel. Right, look, the Steinhardt, I think, is actually very well done. You know, the, the design is not exactly a complete copy of an Oyster case. They've actually tweaked it a bit. Still, it is actually fairly standard, you know, despite the fact that it is good. Um, you know, it is actually kind of a Submariner-inspired case and a coin H bezel, uh, whereas the Christopher Ward, I think, there's no question there's more originality in this particular design. Right, look at the bezel construction, the slope on the bezel, uh, the bevels on the case. I think it really does, you know, they've actually done something a bit more there. Uh, they both have excellent ceramic inserts. You know, the Steinhardt has the jewel tone, very, very clear printing there. It's Christopher Ward is actually pretty good as well. They're both full loom bezels and they both function very well. So equal on the bezel, but I think the case mark, I give it to the Christopher Ward there. Okay, so eight this is seven on this particular category. Next up, okay, Dahl and Crystal. So uh, I think they are both actually uh, excellently legible, uh, but the Christopher Ward is larger and I think it takes a step up because it's got applied, you know, dual finish indices, both polished and brush finishing on the indices as well as the hands. Whereas the Steinhardt, some people uh, kind of lament that it's a little bit more plain, right? Printed. Uh, as well as the plain looking hands without any polishing. So, you know, that, that's, you know, I, I think I have to give the mark to the Christopher Ward for the Dow. It really does pop a lot more. But the Steinhardt, I do like the design. I honestly do like the design. I just have to honestly give the mark to the Christopher Ward. Uh, Crystal wise, however, that's a boring flat sapphire, whereas that is a very interesting dome with a bit of a box edge there or, a, you know, a bevel edge there. I think the crystal on this is far more interesting. They're both sapphire. So crystal to the Steinhardt, Dahl to the Christopher Ward here, which means that they equal out eight out of eight for both. Okay, bracelet mark. So bracelet, uh, Steinhardt, I have to say, has uh, the usual pretty good quality, right? They have solid end links, of course. Uh, they actually provide screw links for the bracelet. You can see, you know, it's actually screw link adjustment, but uh, this is a, uh, you know, fairly basic clasp housing there, right? No dive adjustment or extension. This got four point micro adjust, fairly solid arms, uh, but you know, looks like even a stamp type of clasp there, right? So that falls down on that mark. Whereas the Christopher Ward, I would say is nearly perfect, nearly, not quite, right? Quick release, solid end links, uh, a very nice clasp, right? I'll show you the clasp with that kind of glide lock style, not quite glide lock, I guess you, I can call it a ratchet style uh, micro adjustment. Right, ratchet style micro adjustment that you can do on the fly, uh, solid class there, but uh, you know they give push pins for the adjustment. There's no screw links here, so that's the only downfall of Christopher Ward. If they give screw links, I think this would be a nearly perfect score uh, for the bracelet. Uh, as it is, it's definitely a better bracelet. I think I have to say nine versus eight on the bracelet mark there. Not controversial at all. I think in this category, quality. Okay, next up, quality. Right, Steinhardt, again, very good, right? The finishing, uh, I, I usually don't complain about it, but I think uh, in comparison, the Christopher Ward uh, just edges ahead on just about every facet, right? The, the printing, right, is, is sharper, okay? The, the, the quality of the bezel, you know, it just pops a bit more. Definitely the dial is sharper with those uh, applied indices. It, it's got, I think, you know, just side by side, looking at it very closely, the finishing is just finer on the Christopher Ward. That's my honest opinion for this. And and just keep in mind, I own the Steinhardt and I borrowed uh, this uh, from Sung, a local supporter uh, of the channel. So, you know, I have, I have every reason to be biased towards the Steinhardt, but I honestly have to say the Christopher Ward is just better finished and it definitely has a better class, right, in that bracelet that I showed you guys. So I think quality-wise, I have to definitely give it to the Christopher Ward, nine versus eight on this category here. Okay, next up, style. So this one, uh, again, is the most subjective uh, category of all of them. I think both of these are actually very good looking watches. I really enjoy the look of both of this. I think the Steinhardt uh, take on the, the Batman GMT, really, that's, that's the main inspiration. But of course, they've tweaked it you know, to no end so that many people will say this is not uh, really an homage anymore. It's, it's a very light homage and very original in terms of elements. I think it's great, but still ultimately there's a lot of derived elements here. 
I think the Christopher Ward uh, is more original, as I've said before, and it just overall pops better. I mean, if you put it side by side, you know, there, there's those polish elements, right? The, the way the case is done with that polished bezel there, or bevel on the side here, it just pops better and overall styling, whilst it's subjective, I think I have to say that more people will probably go for that. And I, I have to give the edge to the Christopher Ward on the style, as much as I really like the style of the Steinhardt. So edge to the Christopher Ward on this category, I've given eight versus seven out of 10 for this category. Okay, next up, performance. Okay, so this one, again, I, I think not so controversial. The Steinhardt is an absolutely solid diver, 500 meter water resistance, great loom, right? They both have great loom, but I think, uh, you know, Christopher Ward just edges out again because this is a really full bullet, the 1000 meter diver. It's got a very well implemented helium escape valve, probably the prettiest one I've seen uh, so far. And, you know, I have to say it's got the better bracelet, right? It doesn't have a full dive suit extension, but it's got that ratcheting clasp, which makes it quite convenient to adjust on the fly. The bezel, the loom, you know, accuracy just as well. So, you know, I have to give the mark to the Christopher Ward on overall performance there. Okay, nine versus eight. I don't think this is controversial. Okay, nearly there. Durability, guys. Durability. Okay. The, the Christopher Ward and I pointed this out on the review, is grade two titanium. I think that remains a bit perplexing why that is chosen, right? It is actually a commercially pure grade, which means that it is softer, easier to scratch, uh, and possibly more expensive, but maybe they got it because the finishing, you can see the coloration that you achieve is closer to steel. This one you can quite easily tell it's got a titanium look. This one, initially, you could mistake it for a steel watch if, if you don't know uh, the slight grayer look of titanium. Uh, so let me know again, if you know better than me, why they would choose grade two titanium. Um, I I'm not sure why, you know, I think uh, the alloy titanium, grade five titanium with the Steinhardt clearly is slightly harder. And overall, I think has better tensile strength. That's what I've researched. I'm not a metallurgist, but correct me if I'm long, but I've, I have to give the mark here to the Steinhardt. You know, it also is a heavier watch with more, you know, metal. Like you can see the bracelet is clearly a thicker, more substantial bracelet in terms of just sheer thickness. So durability wise, I have to give it to the Steinhardt, right? Ceramic sapphire on the top here, same thing, but the, the titanium grade and the case design, right? The Steinhardt takes it nine versus eight. Okay, next up, value. Okay, here is where the Steinhardt pulls uh, ahead uh, quite a lot more than the Christopher Ward, right? Christopher Ward uh, on their website promises value and low markup. In fact, they are the only company that I've seen uh, tell us what they intend to markup, and that is three times. They say that on their website. But yet, you know, despite the promise of value, right, this is so much cheaper, right? 700 versus about 1600 uh, USD. This one is one of the best in class in value with the Eta Elibori gray uh, movement, right? Titanium casing, you know, ceramic, of course, with sapphire. It's fantastic value. Uh, but I, I do note that it's not as if you get nothing for the Christopher Ward for the price, right? It is a chronometer grade. It, it does have that better bracelet in terms of engineering. And of course, it's got more pop on the dial with the applied indices, polished hands, and all that. So you're getting something, but is the rest just marketing and name? You know, let me know what you think. I think the value mark clearly goes to the Steinhardt. I've given it nine versus seven on this category. Okay, last one, guys, brand. Okay, so this one, I, I, I think uh, I have to give it even, right? They're both relatively new, right? We're talking about 2004 versus 2001 in terms of uh, the, the establishment date of these brands. They're both essentially around the same age uh, the Steinhardt being slightly older. They're both Swiss made. They're both out owned outside of Switzerland, right? This one being England or UK and this one being Germany, of course, right? So they're, they're kind of a lot of similar story behind them. They're not much known outside of watch enthusiasts, but within uh, enthusiast circles, they do, uh, you know, they are known to provide quality and are fairly well respected. So I've given it an even mark on the brand there. Let me know if you would choose to give a different mark for the brand. Okay, guys, so there we go. We're finished. What is the total? Very, very close. 81 versus 80. The Christopher Ward takes it by a hair. So in summary, guys, extremely close battle, which 
really could have gone uh, either way, depending on the day and the mood that I might have been when I gave these scores. You know, many categories are marginal, and they had they tied in the Dow and uh, Crystal mark as well as the Brand mark. Uh, the Steinhardt uh, won. Uh, I gave it a high mark on the Caliber because you know it's just got that better SO Caliber. I think uh, it's got better durability with Grade Five Titanium, and definitely uh, overall value uh, it has to give the mark. Uh, to the Steinhardt, uh, but Christopher Wilde takes it back with the better case and bezel score, definitely a better bracelet, better overall quality in terms of finishing and you know the accoutrements that it comes with. I gave it a better style mark and it also takes it on performance, so it's a marginal win for the Christopher Award today. So guys, there we go, that's my hit to hit comparison of these two rather good divers. Let's flip the camera around now for the wrap up. So there you go guys, my comparison of this Christopher Ward with the Steinhardt that I own, both titanium divers, a comparison that is as close as it gets without actually being a tie. Let me know what you think of this, uh, particularly if you own either or both of these watches or have experience with these brands. I would love to hear your thoughts on this comparison. Uh, if you disagree with any of my scores, of course, also please let me know why you think so. Guys, if you enjoy my videos, do consider subscribing. New content every week, always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology. Thank you again for sticking with me, and as always, I'll catch you guys again next time.